Ooh, it's uh, Friday, of nearly half six, so not long woke up, and uh, a little update. This is the veg patch, my spuds still going great guns, there's a few weeds amongst them, but my earlies have started to die back, bits of yellow, so I should be taking them out soon, probably tomorrow, I'll probably take some out tomorrow. I've already made a big start on my onions, they're drying, I'll show you them when I do the my fruit earlier update in a minute. And as you can see I've still got a few in, those are spring onions, getting rather big, I'm taking some of them home today. But those that have fallen over, I always take, there's uh, only a couple today, so that they don't get wet now that the, the weather's changed. My sweet corn, they're rather small. Um, well that one's really small. The last, they, they were lighter than those three anyway. But it's time for me to do a shake to pollinate. Apparently it helps the these down here, which is the sweet corn itself, uh, pollinate. Although the wind round here is, uh, can get up a bit, so I probably don't need to do that. Those onions are not really getting any bigger. I'll still be happy with them. They weren't in light. So, yeah. My legs are doing good, even though that one there has been trod on by something, a fox probably. But I need to weed, which is another job for tomorrow. I'm only here for about an hour and a half today. So, there you go. These cabbages are going alright. The one that I'm just seeing how big it will actually get, it's been attacked by slugs. So I see how big it'll get. It's the only one that's really been attacked by slugs. Or caterpillars or something. So I'll let that grow. But they're doing quite well. My pumpkins, courgettes and butternut squashes. Uh, as you can see there, that needs picking. Not beautiful big flowers. I've been leaving this one, see how big it'll grow and uh, I might have a use for that depending on how I feel when I do actually harvest. This one's grown loads since I last come here. I haven't been down for a couple of days because so I've not been feeling too great. And with pumpkins you can see a few, a lot of flowers, only a few pumpkins coming up. And my button of squash is in the middle of that, that dying. I don't know what went wrong with that. But you know, these things happen. With some flowers, six and a half, seven footers. Maybe just with that one there might just be over the seven foot but well, it's planting really early taking the leaves off the stems hasn't really made any difference to the height of me uh, of my sunflowers but well, they, they, they look good oh I'm happy yeah I was expecting really large ones my Sprouts have started growing, they'll be needing tying in soon before they start toppling over. They're protected in there, they, they won't be too bad. In here, there's a few hearting up, as you can see with that one. A few hearting up, but nothing major. I've had three out of there, as you see, dead ground. 
and that will be the next one on the weekend to take out, give it a few more days. But there's a couple of small ones getting ready to harvest through in the week. Yeah, still haven't made these, hopefully do that tomorrow as well. Big day tomorrow as long as the, the weather holds out. I'll be uh, I'll be happy. My flowers are doing well. That's about uh, to flower, I think. A long, long thin flowers. That's doing well. Not looking at the best those two during the the first light. I've had a few beans off those. And we runners, I've had a few beans and there's be some more taken off on the weekend. As uh, I honestly don't feel like cooking today, so I won't be taking them today. But as you can see there, well zoom in. Beans. Thanks me. I have some bilotti beans. I'll have them, they'll go with me runners. I mean, there's only a few. A few more flowers at the top. But there's only a few. The start of the year was bad, so I didn't get a, enough uh, enough plants to to shout about. My sweet peas are near enough gone over. I'll leave the the pods on to ripen, and I'll try again next year growing sweet peas. This year it was downright terrible. My main peas, which were there, have ended. I've ate all them. None of them got home. I've got to grow a few more next year because I really like them straight out the pod, straight off the plant. And these, I've had more more feed off these than anything else so far. Well. Other than my strawberries, which have gone over, I've got no more strawberries left. We're, uh, yeah, I've been really happy with those. I'm leaving this plant laden. I'm going to keep the seed off them, but everything else is being eaten. I think I might actually get a little, uh, a little bit of supper out of them today as well. I'm sure it's too bad, considering I stripped them bare. Uh, a couple of days ago. The purple ones are strange. But it's the purple, you know the the colour goes when you boil them. Well they turn the water green. I would have thought it would turn them blue or uh, purple. But there you go. So there you go. That's me uh, that's my plot update. Not much happened other than growth and picking Hope you have a good weekend and uh, enjoy the weather. See ya.